Greetings, this is Skippy with On The Fly Photography, trying to figure out new screen recording software, which is not making me a particularly happy camper today, and also looking at one of the bugs that I have discovered in the Lightroom 5.0 beta. And remember, even though you paid money for this, it is beta software. That's obvious by the excruciating number of screw-ups, I mean bugs, I mean undocumented features which are found in Lightroom 5.0. Now, typically, whenever I'm going through my photos and trying to rate them, star them, such as that, I do this using the second window in, in the library mode. We're in library mode right now. And the way I do this is select my photos, use my arrows, you go through, you star, you rate, you color, whatever it is you want to do, right? So in Lightroom 5.0, Adobe added in the full screen mode, which when I first saw it, I wasn't sure what it was good for. Now I see what it's good for. So when we're here, we hit F. That's going to give us the full screen over here on the main window. And then over here, I can be arrowing through my photos and seeing them over here. So I, I really like this part. This is really good. Very useful for me. Here's where the bug comes in. So if I come over and I click on this photo, you will notice that the photo being displayed does not actually change to match the photo which is selected. But even better, if I click a different photo, the photo being displayed now changes to the previous photo I had selected, not the current one. And I can do that again. I'll click this one. The photo being displayed is now the previous photo. Now from here, if I hit the arrow key, it picks up and runs normally. There are similar bugs that other people have found. One of them had something to do with the, what do you call it, publish, one of the publish modules. I never use those, so I don't really know anything about that. And other people have discovered that because Lightroom will display photos that are not selected and select photos that are not displayed, you can, if you're not careful, accidentally delete photos you did not intend to delete. La SLR Lounge put up a bug report on YouTube where they found something similar and I've heard a couple others there should be some links on my website if you go over there anyhow so when utilizing the Lightroom 5.0 beta software that you paid money for be sure that you are very careful about what you're doing with the delete photo function and don't delete something really important alright thanks and we'll see you on the flip side bye bye now I have to figure out how to stop the screen recorder wish me luck